gone and done these interviews. You spent quite a bit of time with Andre Agassi. Yeah, did you? Did How I? was that? That was amazing. That was incredible. So that was an interview for Sunday night and they just work on a, another level, another yeah. scale. So we flew over to Vegas um, to do the interview. Because they live in Vegas. Yeah, they live they? in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, he grew up in Vegas. Um, flew to Vegas to do the interview. So the first couple of days you spend doing, um, you know, shots of Vegas and right. different shots that you need. And he, he runs a school there, which is what the interview was, was all about. Um, a school for underprivileged kids because although you have the Vegas trip, the rest of Vegas is a bit of a shithole. Yeah, right. Um, yeah, so it was crazy. Um, we get into this room and it's kind of like a darkened hotel room and it's all set up with lights and, and he finally arrives after, you know, two or three days of lead up and, you know, going over questions and reading his book and all the rest yeah. of it. And there was a lot of stuff that was off limits, even though he'd spoken about his drug use before, we weren't supposed to talk right. about it and that kind of thing. But, I mean, the whole idea being that we'd lead him in that direction and hopefully yes, he'd bring it up. Go and, there. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, so... Yeah, he gets he gets in the chair and he's absolutely delightful, but maintains your gaze <gasps> the entire time. We were there for probably an hour, and the whole time oh he's just staring at me. I'm like, oh, so you can't even like look down at your notes or anything. You just have to kind of. I mean, it's great because you just listen to everything that he says. Very, very That's intense That's individual. Can and we look away from each other? Just yeah, now, yeah, I know. It's weird. That. It's really weird. <laughs> Um, so, off, I mean, as, as of putting it the reverse, you know, when someone doesn't look doesn't you in the eye yeah. and that's weird too. Yeah. But a profusive sweater. Like he sweated mm. so much that we had two parts to the interview, one sitting down and one where we visited the school. He had to go home and get changed halfway through because he tried to dry his dry himself with a hairdryer. But, um, that would have he, heated him up. Anyway. Yeah, I know, but he sweat, sweated so much. So I don't know whether it was my questioning or whether he's just generally a sweaty person. <laughs>